G'day folks, I just wanted to report that I've got the uh, cheap VFD working thanks to accidentally finding a video. DJB HSI has this one here on a 4 kilowatt version of the cheap inverters and he's gone through how he hooked it up to a milling machine motor. So although it's 60 hertz US I just did the equivalencies for Australia and set the ramp, I think it's a ramp time issue or something. The acceleration time was way too high. So I brought acceleration up to 3 seconds from 10, deceleration's 9, and I could probably bring it down a bit more without tripping the drive, but it works. I also set the, mo the drive to 2 pole for this blower. Um, yeah, it works quite well. So I'll stop him. So staying on 20 hertz. It does have reverse current braking, but I might put a resistor on it if I'm going to make make use of that. I don't have the pot working yet. I haven't set that up. I think I have to put that back to uh, external, that jumper. Uh, what am I looking for? Amps. RPM. Frequency, actual frequency. I think I've got the wiring on the blower backwards, but it's working. <laughs> yeah, it's not putting out full volume because it's running backwards. That's probably not good for it, but anyway, if I reverse the wiring L1 and L2, it'll uh, it'll run clockwise. But either way, that's pretty damn cool. Uh, yeah, so this thing wasn't faulty out of the box. Uh, it just doesn't have adequate setup instructions. The manual's pretty vague, very simple then they rely on you to either have a lot, a lot of experience with them or a lot of trial and error. So thankfully I found a little little video there you can check out. Uh, yeah, not bad. Not, makes a nice sound when it spools up, I can tell you now. That's a good blower. I might keep this motor on it for now. Yeah, it's cold. It runs cooler on this drive than it does on my other one, but then I suppose it's not... Um, yeah, it is running backwards. I can see the fan. It's running the wrong way. We can fix that. Oh well. Well, problem solved for that one. I've got my starting blower. Uh, the, it was never very happy on the RPC and it got very hot after a couple of short starts and runs. So the RPC needs some work. For now I might even use that ABB motor as an RPC motor. Or when Jay digs out the big uh, 10 horsepower uh, granulator from his mate's place. Uh, the bloke with the big steam traction engine that I went to on New Year's. Uh, it's in his, one of his sheds somewhere, so there's a lot of stuff to dig through to get it out. But it's a 10-horse granulator for PET bottles. Uh, it basically shreds them into strips, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's like a giant paper shredder. So I'll pull the motor off that and use it for an RPC, and then work on hydrostatically driving that shredder for starters, and we can feed stuff into, and then uh, start work on building my own. But anyway, I've got to get the rest of this moulding machine apart this probably this weekend or next. And uh, now that this is working, we're getting closer to our turbojet project. I just have to fabricate and TIG weld the combustor and we should be all good. Be good for a test run anyway. Come on, we need to spool up even if it is running backwards. <laughs> Beastie. 
Thanks for watching, guys.